The late 1980s and early 1990s were awash with supercars from automakers across the globe. Classic Driver in the UK is selling one of the rarest of all of these supercars, the road-going race car that is the Jaguar XJR15. The XJR15 is the lesser-known sibling of the Jaguar XJ220. Only 27 were ever built. The XJ220 may not have received the same recognition and reverence as the Ferrari F40, the Porsche 959, and the McLaren F1, but for a time it held the record for the fastest road-going automobile, 217.1 miles per hour. All of the XJ220 single quote S engineering and prowess is owed to the development of the XJR15, which in turn owes everything to driver Tom Workinshaw and his experience in touring in Le Mans Ressa cars. Unlike the twin turbocharged XJ220, the XJR15 feeders a big, naturally aspirated V12 that turned out 450 horsepower and 420 pounds foot of torque when new. The engine engine has a dry sump oil system, a Cosworth forged crankshaft, connecting rods, aluminum pistons, and fuel delivery from a ZTEC electronically controlled sequential fuel injection system. The engine is mated to a 5-speed transaxle from Tom Workinshaw Racing, while the suspension, fabricated wishbones and horizontal pushroad spring dampers at the front and coil springs at the rear, is pulled straight from the XJR9 race car. At the time, the car was capable of hitting 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds and topped out at 215 miles per hour, just shy of the mark later set by the Jaguar XJ220. The XJR15 was also the first road car to make extensive use of carbon fiber. In fact, at 2,315 pounds, the car's listed weight is less than that of a new North Dakota Mazda Miata. The body was designed by future McLaren F1 engineer Peter Stevens. While the McLaren and Porsche were more complete and well-rounded machines, the XJR15 was a bare-bones, uncompromised track machine. The interior was barely more than a carbon tub fitted with a pair of one-piece seats. The car in this listing is chassis number 21 and only has 1,400 miles on the odometer. Some minor modifications to the hinges allow the hood and engine cover to be quickly and easily opened. There is no price on the listing. But Car Buzz has reported a price of $500,000. Not cheap, but what rare, early 1990s supercar is?